Hi, my name is Dr. Arun Deer. I'm a gastrointestinal and a bariatric surgeon, and I've been practicing my craft for over two and a half decades. I'm going to be sharing some of my views today about how the global obesity and the diabetes epidemic is taking its hold in our society currently. The challenge is that obesity and diabetes are now identified as almost twin sisters, and they are deeply interrelated. And these are basically lifestyle diseases. What has happened in our understanding of these two problems over the last decade or so is that we realize they're not only internal, they've got some very common factors which are driving them. So obesity is driving diabetes and the diabetes epidemic is actually fueling obesity and its other related problems. This is where the field of weight loss or bariatric surgery has evolved into this new speciality of metabolic surgery. What metabolic surgery really means is that we are not only a addressing the weight of the individual, but we are trying to actually reverse the damage to the metabolism that has taken place because of long-standing lifestyle habits, such as processed foods, lack of exercise and all of that. And those are not the only things which change with metabolic or weight loss surgery. So this is where the role of metabolic or weight loss surgery is evolving. And this has been recognized by the International Diabetes Federation, which is a peak body of physicians, researchers, teachers, and allied personnel who are involved in management of diabetes globally, they have recognized bariatric surgery as a field which, or as a treatment option that needs to be considered early on in diabetic patients who are also experiencing high BMI, suggestive of morbid obesity, as a very powerful and an effective treatment tool in the management of these two conditions. Besides this, uh, weight loss surgery or metabolic surgery also has beneficial effects on fixing other medical problems such as sleep apnea, such as fatty liver, insulin resistance, which are all conditions that coexist along with this whole profile of metabolic syndrome. So uh, I would urge you to approach your medical practitioners or your treating physicians if you are currently on diabetic medications to explore and get further information about metabolic surgery.